You've treated the infection, again and again. But the itching, discharge, or odor always comes back. What if the real issue isn't just infection, but your vaginal microbiome being out of balance? Hi friends, Dr. Emily here, an OBGYN here in the US, and a straightforward voice of science-backed truth here on YouTube. Today's episode of Vagina Health 101, we're going deep into your body's natural defense system, the vaginal flora, and how to support it with probiotics, pH care, and smart habits. First of all, let's meet your vaginal microbiome. Your vagina is home to millions of bacteria, and that's a good thing. The dominant species should be lactobacillus, which produces lactic acid to keep pH low, and 3.8 to 4.5 crowds out harmful microbes, protects against BV, yeast, STIs. But stress, antibiotics, sex, and hormonal changes can disrupt this balance, leading to recurring infections. The following signs show that your flora is off. Here's how your body might tell you something's off. Frequent BV or yeast infections, fishy or sour vaginal odor, discharge, changes, color, thickness, consistency, vaginal irritation or itching, increased UTIs. You don't always need more medication, Sometimes, you just need to restore the good bacteria. So, how to rebalance naturally? Use a vaginal-specific probiotic. Look for strains like Lactobacillus rhamnosus, GR1, and Ruteri RC14, available in capsules or vaginal suppositories. Avoid disruptors, scented soaps, douching, tight synthetic underwear, excess sugar and processed foods, they feed yeast. Support gut health too. Gut bacteria and vaginal flora are connected. Eat fermented foods, yogurt, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut. After antibiotics, always take probiotics for at least one to two weeks. Maintain pH, avoid overwashing, Use water or pH-balanced intimate cleansers for the vulva only. Here is doctor's tip. You don't need to detox your vagina. It's not dirty. It's a living ecosystem. Protect your good bacteria like you would a garden. Feed it, don't burn it. Have probiotics helped your vaginal health? Drop a message, balance from within, if you've ever struggled with recurring BV or yeast. Like, subscribe, and share this final episode, because now you know how to take care of her for life. See you in next episode of Vagina Health 101 by Dr. Emily.